once more! Let's go ahead and start this back up. If you didn't already see it, I actually uploaded a video where I promoted Samson just to see if he had brown pants upon promotion, like, you know, Domino has a red cloak. He doesn't, by the way. No, right, I actually need to go back to Quamdor. Because I haven't done anything there yet. Why am I going to status? Anyway. Um... Senior Percy will remain our, our permanent anchor in Quamdar. Sad, he's not that terrible of a... If I was able to actually keep him leveled, he would be a reasonably good character. Maybe after the end of the game, what I'll end up doing is taking my last save, going back and hyper-leveling everybody, including Samson and Taunt, by the way, and just see what they're like at, say, level 30. For, as in, level 10 per... I'm already past level 10, aren't I? Say level 20 promoted. There we go. I think that's about the highest that you get. Yep. Quamdar is the most expensive inn in the game. I already rested, so I don't need to worry about it. So, it's a nice, peaceful, and pretty village. They still believe in Arun here. So, fun thing! Shootad is actually not one of the vicious ones. Apparently, there's a little bit of weirdness going on with what Lord Kevins did. Lord Kevins actually is basically the person that started this whole plot. Gundalf? It's Gandalf Hood. Seriously, game. Gandalf, not Gundalf. <sighs> Quamdar is actually probably one of my favorite villages in this game. Just because his terrain doesn't suck. Do you actually have any supplies I care about at this point? You don't even have healing potions? I mean, smoke bombs are okay, I guess, but that's really about it. I'm pretty sure the weapon shop has nothing at this point. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else that needs repair? Yeah. A goddess robe. And... Power scarf and an oath bandana and captain's leather. So a couple of things, but not much. I need to sell things so I have inventory space again. Like all of these evil things. Evil. Am I gonna max out on money again? There we go. Seriously, Gundolf. <sighs> ah, I have a Facebook message, apparently. Okay, hmm. so let's go ahead and buy stuff. Leather. Domino. Domino's actually turned out fairly well. I've never actually taken Domino all the way to the end before. And it's definitely not been a bad experience. I'm not so sure he... I think he's slightly better than Taunt at the end, at least. 
But if you're, say, comparing Domino to... I don't know. Percy, maybe? If Percy was appropriately leveled? Then I think I might prefer Percy. Don't know. Let's talk some more townspeople. They have some very interesting things to say, after all. Already walked through there. I need to go higher. Higher! Can't go that way, so must go to this house. Viscous ones! Yes, the viscous ones! <laughs> So, apparently Shootad is actually the equivalent of McWedka. Fun fact. I thought there was more here. I must be missing something. Let me check. I'm pretty certain there really is more here. Uh, let's see. Gandalf Hood. Uh, let's see. There's a monster bait under the table over here. And let's go ahead and take care of some of the optional content. I don't ever actually need to go to Zeal again, so I'm just moving Taunt to someplace more useful. I was actually just there, I didn't realize I could have done this then. Taunt, you are going to the mountain village, or mountain cottage. I'm going back to the Dragon Cave from way in the beginning of the game. Mountain Cottage. Specifically, the Dragon Cave over here. It's one of my favorite themes of the game. The remixed version's pretty nice, too. That's not one of my favorite themes of the game. Notice that the dragon's gone now! Mikwedka, the son of my friend Norton! Norton told me to give this key to Mikwedka. When Mikwedka's destiny shakes the world, then the contents of the treasure chest become needed. If Mikwedka is mature enough, then give him this key. To the one born of Marian blood, the peacekeeper between the common world and the underworld, now's the time. Take the key, open the chest, fulfill your father's wish, and go to Quamdar. I have no idea who just said that to Mikwedka. At all. So, the skeleton key opens up pretty much every location in the game. There was a chest that I couldn't reach. So, for instance, one of them is over here. Hey look, it's the bat! Remember, the non-crappy bat version. Or, the crappy bat. Damn, Domino does a lot of damage now. I don't know, does he even still need that piece of equipment? 188 attack. His attack is currently higher than McWedka at four levels lower. Yeah, I I'm okay with Domino. This is also something I didn't know about in the first way through, but I think that might have been more me missing things than anything. The song is so beautiful, I wish there weren't any random encounters interrupting it.
this is McQuedka's best weapon of the game. Flat out. Absolutely nothing else better. Okay. So yeah, basically from what I've been able to figure out, Sir Kevin's actually killed Sir Norton. Just outright, just dead. Because Sir Norton was trying to hide me from my destiny. And as a result, Princess Catherine, who is, um, I believe that would be Edward's older sister, who is my mother. So Edward is actually my uncle, which is just weird. But, um, she just literally jumped out here and jumped off and landed in who knows what. Yeah, that's not morbid. I don't care what direction I escape. I'm using Steiner because Steiner is so much cooler. Nobody can deny that. No one. Too far. All the way back here. You haven't had visitors in many years, so apparently I haven't been here in a while. I don't know. Nope, we're going up back up to the tree. This one isn't really much of an item. I'd probably just turn around and sell it, to be honest. But I'm a completionist. I think it's in the basement? Is it in the basement? Yeah, it's in the basement. It's there. Skeleton key gets used everywhere! Yeah, I don't know why McGinnequa needs a tornado vase at this point, but whatever. It's all cool. And we're going to Bandur. Once I get out of this place. If I ever get out of this place. Oy. Bandor! Let's go. I love how we can fly over these mountains, which look just as tall as the other mountains. See, I think what should have happened is that Steiner after... Oh, there's my ship. Um, I guess I must have left it there. Steiner after um, coming back from the dead should have been able to just start flying over everything, because that would have been cool. I mean, it doesn't really change how you... Uh, where you can go when, after all, because, well, you already have Steiner by that point. Uh, Bandor's over here. Right? Nope. Still need to fly further. Bandor's here. There we go. Okay, second floor of the inn. Yeah, why McWedka is supposed to have a Mystic E, I don't know. It's like, 
I know McQuedka at some point will decide to train in martial arts. Yeah, I've got nothing. Let me go ahead and sell some of these things. Uh, I think the last time I played, I actually just tried to crash Bandori's economy rather than Marion's. Doesn't do anything, it's just. No, not buy. You definitely don't have anything I care about at this point of the game. <laughs> See, the weird thing is that the Mithril Blade is actually Percy's best weapon, so I kind of don't want to sell it. Alright, last item, which is way back in the castle, the dungeon. You know, this spot. Again! Why would this be here? This doesn't really make much sense to me, but whatever. I mean, it's a reviving herb, so I'm not going to complain too much. And that's it! That should be everything optional in the game. All I have left is go to the final dungeon. That's it. Kinda of tempted to just leave it at this and go to the final dungeon next time, but no. Apparently, since I only took 15 or so minutes to do this, we're gonna finish the game. Why I'm spending all of this time to walk out, I have no idea. Steiner, I'm sorry you're gonna stay here. I'll summon you every so often, but um, I've got nothing else for you. I did not mean to get into you. I'm sorry, Steiner. Everything will be okay, I swear. Where we're going, you can't come with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Steiner. church is what I wanted to go to. Alright, so if you don't want to see the end of the game, stop watching now because I'm going to complete it. Again. Um, let's see. Is there anything left for me to get at this point? And I can drop off the final tablet. That might not be a terrible idea, to be honest. Let me go ahead and do that first. Yay, more Steiner! Might as well store that final tablet that I didn't use. Or do I actually need the final tablet to enter? Uh, let's find out. Oh! Yeah, apparently I actually need the final tablet for where I'm going. So, nope, that was a mistake. Whoops. That would make sense, because otherwise, why did I grab the thing? Don't need the rest of this, though. I'll grab the silent sword, because I can. And I'm going to go ahead and store the skeleton key.
And let's just get silly now. That's the wrong way. I'm just gonna spend all the money. Because why not? Nothing else I'm gonna do with it. First off, let's go sell these stupid healing herbs that I keep having in my inventory. Not the potions, not the jewels, the herbs. There we go. Do we even have enough monetary space for that? Uh, definitely not selling a mage's jewel. Is that really it? Yeah. I guess I don't actually have any inventory space, do I? Everybody has one ocarina already. There. Yeah, I guess that's actually all I need. That was a bit of a waste of a trip. Go oh, up! Well. Now let's do this! I probably should be cleaning more, but I'm tired. I do technically have tomorrow to clean some as well. Or I should say, organize. I'm trying to put my crap in various places so it doesn't get in the way when I have somebody come by to take a look at my house to clean. Um, I have basically given up on the idea that I'm going to be able to maintain this house at this point. It's just with multiple people living here, it never ends up happening. So I'm not going to try. Just gonna get an estimate as how much it will cost. I don't like demon deaths. This is also the best place in the game to level up in, by the way. Wasn't incredibly obvious already. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, look! Devil insects! Nope, I'm going the right way. Da die! That's fine. I may be slightly, just very slightly traumatized by them. Did they only cast it when they're next to demons? That's okay. They're dead anyway. And he has 62 VP. This is weird. Damn it! Stop picking on Edward! Oh, part of the reason why Lorelei seems so bad is that she's a somebody in the back row. Domino doesn't take any reduced damage from being in the back row, so she looks substantially worse than anybody else. She's still not that great, though. Domino definitely, though, is staying in my party forever and ever and ever. I think I'm just going to keep Domino in my party from now on. 
Ah, you can't make Edward groggy. I shall kill you! Oh, the other thing is that Lorelei has more hit points than Annie. And more defense by the time that she actually levels up three more times. Hmm. Just noticed. Lorelai's actually caught up with Domino on level. And she's going to level up before Domino, even though I gave Domino that um, plus one level thing accidentally. Interesting. 58 defense. The same as Edward. Actually, I could put her in the front row instead of Edward now. That's probably a good idea, to be honest. That's not what I want to do. Formation! Annie, McWedka, Lorelei, Domino, Edward. There we go. So now you'll see what Lorelei is actually like punching-wise. They ambushed us. That's great. I... Uh... Yeah, Fire Breath 2 is very similar to um, Steiner. That is the reason why I don't like those guys, by the way. Oh yeah, fun thing about Steiner. I think Steiner actually counts as non-elemental for some reason. I'm pretty sure it's a glitch, but, you know. Whatever. Oy. And the other one's gonna attack Edward, I bet. Yep. I've gotten good at predicting how things go. <laughs> nope, not an elemental. I was wrong. Thought I read that somewhere. Is that a little better? About the same damage as Annie. About. That was just a bad thing. There. Now her strength is higher than Edward. Mm, let's see. Who is least likely to use their thing? Probably Domino. I'm almost there! I love how the recommended level for this place is 15. 15. Which Edward just hit. Eh. Apparently the FAQ writer did, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, Grinded more than I did. So apparently, one of Aaron's followers started Marion. So, me being the eldest prince of Marion, basically, I would be the one that would have. Been, uh, one that was supposed to have been the guard of this place. By the way, that means Lord Kevin's is alive! Dun dun dun! I totally think that's what he just said. Eon's not really that difficult of a person. <laughs> yeah! 
Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you think. So, um, what's special about him? Well, other than the fact that he's a freaking healer and a mage. Which one is the one that's nasty? Hydra Warrior, okay. Steiner. Defense. Nope. Hydra Warrior. And attack. Holy Light 4! Eat it. Damn healer. So glad I have resist jewel. Oh, by the way, eat some Steiner. Good. Took care of the nasty one. Cause it got two two actions per round. So. Bling. Blub, 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 blub. Thunder three. Yeah. yeah. Basically, Eon is a combination of Annie and Edward. It's obnoxious. However, I've got a trick up my sleeve. Who has it? I'll just heal Rain right back. I don't think it's McGuedka that has it, is it? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's a lot of damage that I'm doing right now. Hey, eat a Thunder 3 right back. That's what I wanted to do. Domino double attack. Neon Thunders 3s, that's fine. You know why? Because I'm pulling a mean and dirty trick here. Everybody is silenced. So now Eon has to just hit with his club. Wait, does that say magic can be used now? Already? Uh, Lorelei, go ahead and use... Ocarina. Dom! Yes, we all run in face. You do 15, I do 73 back. I'm pretty sure I'm doing better. Attack power to normal, which is sad. Also sad. Ocarina! Attack power to normal. Defensive power and quickness to normal. Hit with club. Neon, you're not really a threat here. I don't even need to do that. Honestly, I'm just gonna attack. Yep, looks like magic works again. That stinks. Oh well.
It's under one? You can't be that low on MP. Heal rain, attack. Defense, attack. Attack up. Okay, if you want. How about I just smack you upside the head for about a hundred? This is pretty much my boss strategy. Bye bye! Not even that much experience. Okay. Aye, Yeon, the Underworld's Master Magician, Yeon! Thank you, uh... Redundant Master of Redundancy. Defeated by mere humans. That can't be... good. Herp! Don't know if poisoned or not. Let's do a quick save state. Nope, poisoned. Or not poisoned. Uh, cursed. Ah, there we go. No. All right. Let's drop the final tablet down. So this is basically a double dungeon. You know, this is actually... I think I am going to stop here. Um, I'm just going to go flee back to Quammer. I don't think this is supposed to be normal boss music, or battle music. I'm actually not hurt, it's just the MP restoration, because I blow through MP like crazy in a boss. And there's bosses in this dungeon, plural. Let's go back to Quamar. Quamdar. Arpadar. Here will be my actual last save. Yeah, this is actually probably a really good spot to stop this time. That way I don't end up with like an hour and a half long save. So I'm just going to get back to the temple. That way the last one is just inside of um, that place. Of the abyss. It's not a temple at all. What am I talking about? I don't know! Ow. Ow. I didn't mean to use Edwards. Oh well. It was fine. Doo -doo -doo. Just running back. It's actually a great place to level up. Other than the red dragons. I don't like red dragons.
Don't mess with Annie. That's gonna be obnoxious. I don't like undead lectors. They all have deck up. That's not good. Ow! Okay. Let's start. Uh, let's start here next time. So I will see you in a while. Bye.